Okay, here's a nifty little trick to identify a font using Photoshop or Premiere Pro or really any uh, any Adobe product if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. So I'm on this website and there's this font here, which is cool. Now I know this website and so I actually know that this was a font that was paid for. So uh, he, he bought it, downloaded it, and using it as a custom font. So Adobe's not going to have this exact font, but they're going to probably have something similar that I can use. So I'm going to jump over to Photoshop, and within Photoshop, you want to go type more from Adobe fonts. If you're using Premiere Pro, uh, I think it's under graphic add fonts from Adobe fonts. These are going to take you to the same place, or technically you can just go straight to the website. You don't even need to do it from any of these. Keep in mind, you do need a Creative Cloud subscription in order to do this. So on the website, the uh, fonts.adobe.com website, you can, if you know like the font family or type, you can do a search and type something in and see if it comes back. But in this case, I want to match this font as closely as I possibly can. So next what I need to do is I need to tell it to scan that image to find the font. So there's two ways you can do it. You can drag and drop it onto the page or you can hit the little upload photo icon. So I took a screenshot of the website page and I'm selecting it and just hitting open. And there we go, it scanned it and it grabbed a line of text. So it did a pretty good job actually because it could have grabbed the logo, it could have grabbed the text up here somewhere else but it actually grabbed this nice little line. And um, what you want to do is you basically want to make sure that box is as tight in on the text as possible. And in this case, it did pretty good. So I'm just gonna hit next step. And now what it did is it actually tried to replicate what that says, not even close. So I'm gonna correct it. and then hit next. And now what it did is it went through all of Adobe's fonts list and tried to find the closest it could find to this font type. Now, if you're doing this and the person used a font that is in Adobe fonts, then it's gonna bring that exact font back. In this case, I know that's not the case. So I'm gonna to have to try to find one of these that's as close as I can get it. Um, probably. I mean, I'll just go with the first one for the purpose of this tutorial. Right here, you click Activate Font, hit OK. And now what it did is it activated that font in all my Adobe products. So Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, doesn't matter. I'm going to have that font in it. So I'm going to jump back to Photoshop. I've got my test page right here. So within here, I can just go over to my characters font and grab that one, which was Mr. Daffio. There it is. That's how quick it works. So kind of a nice little feature that they have for Creative Cloud subscription users. Uh, it'll certainly work even better if you're trying to mirror a font that they actually have within their library. But if not, it's going to try to give you something as close as possible that you can then use. As always, hope you found that useful and have a good day.